All right, everybody, this is Sunday morning, May 24th, the day before my memorial uh, day and uh, the start of the first holiday of the summer. I'm down in my workshop. I finished up the Deep Sea Lab Flying Sub, posted it up on my YouTube channel and uh, my Facebook page. Uh, now I'm getting ready to getting ready to start on the buddy build with Ron from his YouTube channel which is sci-fi model shop I think I got that right and uh, he uh, wanted me to go ahead and do a buddy build with him on the 350 Franklin I've got uh, uh, upper and lower saucer section uh, I got everything on my workbench I've worked on it a little bit on the side doing the diorama that I did just to be ahead of the game um, I'll show that here in a second on my workbench so this is going to be the start of part one um, on this belt. I do have the light kit from Tenet Controls with the remote. So uh, I have everything I need plus the paint mask from uh, Aztec Dummy. So I'll have, I've got everything I need to get this uh, buddy build started. And i um, going to take my time. Don't know how long it's going to take for me to get this done. Uh, but I figured I'd give everybody a quick look. On my bench what I've done so far I've uh, worked a little bit on the nacelles and I worked on the upper and lower saucer section so let me go ahead turn the camera around show everybody what I've done so far all right you can see here my light blocks uh, the upper saucer section and all I gotta do now is hit it with some white so the light will bounce pretty good on the inside and it turned out pretty good lower saucer section which is attached to the uh, part of the um, pylons that attach uh, the nacelles to um, which is kind of cool they got it all in one piece except for you can see where I have it uh, taped off and uh, just to hold it in place because I got to figure out where I'm going to run the wiring from the cells down into the lower saucer section but it's looking good and then the nacelles the I light blocked the front and I'll probably touch that up again and then I li li uh, light block the back where uh, I think where my thumb is those light up with the tenant controls lighting kit which is cool and of course the front of the nacelles light up as well so um, not a bad looking kit got a lot of nice detail but uh, this is my next project this is what I'm going to be working on probably today tomorrow is the holiday memorial day and I will be working third shift tomorrow night but I've got today and tomorrow to work on this and get it started uh, but I figured I'd give everybody a quick update. This started part one on the buddy built with Ron, and uh, I'll talk with everybody later. All right, everybody, another update on the Franklin. Uh, I've already light blocked the upper and lower saucer section with uh, some primer and um, uh, black primer from uh, Steinora's. Uh, Badger primer. Now I'm going to go ahead and go over the black with this uh, flat white. I know a lot of guys will use um, silver or a gloss white to bounce the light um, inside the uh, saucer section. Um, but uh, I think the flat white here is going to do just fine because I think, being that this is from uh, JJ's um, universe. Uh, uh, they're not a warm white they're a real bright light uh, uh, coming out of the, the windows and um, I'm pretty sure with the light kit that I got from tenant controls the light strip that he gave uh, he puts into the the kit that they're real uh, bright light um, not a warm light it's um, you know real bright is what I'm trying to spit out here and um, so I don't really think it's going to matter too much um, I just going to go ahead and use this on the upper and lower saucer section um, just so the light will bounce um, 
better than uh, just going with the, the black on the inside. Um, so I'm going to probably go ahead and set the camera up in the spray booth to do this segment. As soon as I'm done with this, then I can start uh, working on either the nacelles or start um, other segments on the um, Franklin. It's not a real big ship, so it shouldn't take that long. It's going to be a little time consuming with the... Uh, with the lighting part of it, with the nacelles and the interior of the um, Franklin. I do have the photo edge bridge. I'll have to work on that. I'll have to probably drill a hole here somewhere where I'm going to uh, decide where the power is going to come out of um, the bottom. But I'll figure that out when I get to that step. Uh, so I'm, gonna, I'm starting to ramble off here. But I'm going to either set it up. Uh, and get this on camera with the the white or I'll show the results at the end But uh, that's what my next step is going to be on the Franklin So I'm going to go ahead and pause for now and I'll talk with everybody later All right, everybody another update on the Franklin. I don't remember if I recorded light blocking the upper and lower saucer section with uh, I did use the Valero black primer I'm not too crazy about the primer. Uh, I had to thin it out and I put it in this bottle right here. It still worked fine coming out of the airbrush. And you can see here that it uh, turned out pretty good. Uh, did work on the um, uh, warp nacelles. I light blocked the front. I still got to drill a hole out for the rear of the caps that light up. I think uh, with the tenant controls kit I got I think it's three millimeter that it'll be coming out of here but I light blocked the inside at the front of the uh, um, warp nacelle and then you can see here on the rear cap here I light blocked it on the inside and then uh, those are good to go for now but the uh, upper saucer section and the lower I hit with the Valero. I'm not knocking it. I'll probably use this for light blocking inside of model kits down the road. Um, I'm going to stick with the Badger. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Most guys, when they light block the inside of a saucer, they'll use um, uh, black and then they'll probably go over it with a gloss white or aluminum tape or whatever they decide to choose for bouncing the light. I'm going to go ahead with the Badger white primer. Uh, I think it'll work just fine when I get to that stage. So I've got the paint in the airbrush already. I got it, it the, on the label it says between 20 and 30 PSI. I got it set probably about 24, a little over 24 PSI. So I'm going to go ahead and get the upper and lower saucer section with the white. Let that dry and then I'll move on to the next stage. There's going to be a lot involved with this because I got the lighting kit. So um, I'm going to get this out of the way first and then move on. So I'll go ahead and start. Probably gonna take a few coats to do this step, but that's fine.
turn it around and get the rear of the lower saucer section. See it's applying pretty nice. You have no no issues coming out of the airbrush really nice at like I said about 25 psi. Okay, I'm gonna let that set. Dry. I'm going to get the upper saucer section next. It's coming out pretty nice, I'm having no problems with it uh, spitting or doing any of that. It's right out of the bottle, no thinning. Flying pretty nice. I'm gonna let put that up, put that to the side and work on the lower saucer section one more time. Out pretty nice.
like I say on all my videos, hopefully I had that all in frame. Looking pretty good. I got to get the upper saucer section, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to call this a wrap for part one with the uh, Franklin Buddy build with Ron because um, there's just so much involved with this, and I don't know when I'll get part two up on my YouTube channel, but uh, I'll finish this up off camera and uh, start uh, getting ready to do sub assemblies and the lighting and all that good fun stuff that's got to. Uh, that's involved with this build so uh, I'd like to thank all my YouTube subscribers I'd like to thank everybody for watching uh, like I said this is the start of part one on this buddy build and I'll talk with everybody later